I am Active and today I'm going to be doing a small thrift haul of stuff that I got. I went thrifting and also went shopping, so doll haul, obviously. Um, most of the stuff I got today, obviously when I post it, it won't be today, but I got today. Um, and then a singular item, which I will show first, I got like two weeks ago, I think. Um, this doll is not on sale, I'll, I'll show her, she's brand new in box. I got her, well, you'll know exactly where I got her, but um, I bought her brand new in box because I saw these dolls. I've actually known that they've existed for quite a while. I saw them probably a year or two ago. I don't actually know when this doll's made. It was either last Christmas, like the previous Christmas that just happened around that time or two Christmases ago, but I feel like these dolls have been out for a while for them to actually be like in stores. It's not telling me <laughs> a date. Whoops. Yeah, I don't I don't know when this doll was made, but either way, I've known about them. You probably can see the packaging already. Um So yeah, I got this a little bit ago and I've known about this doll. I really wanted it. I was hoping that they'd eventually go on sale, but they really haven't. There's four dolls. I kinda still want all four. But they're just they're thirty dollars each, which like they come with a lot. Um of stuff. I actually didn't know, but I'm pretty sure they have 14 points of articulation. I was reading something. Bend and move is what it says. Anyways, so I got this one just because I thought it was funny, um, but I'll probably be getting the other one. So this is from Bass and Pro Shop. I got it from Cabela's and she's got like merch on for it, which I think is so funny. The hats that you can get, you can literally match with her. There was a little pink one there and I was kind of tempted. Um, I don't like going into Cabela's. We actually got there first thing in the morning because we had a day off and it didn't open until like 11. Like, <laughs> it's insane. I mean, it was a Sunday to be honest. Um, so I'm not surprised that Cabela's would do that, but it like felt like <laughs> I did not belong there. So yeah, I don't know. I've just been super interested in these dolls. I think they're really pretty. Um, and this one's the hunting one. I actually think she's supposed to be duck hunting. It doesn't tell you what specifically, um, but it, it does come with, you know, that over there. But a bow and arrow, which is purple. That's it. But look at the dog. My dog is slightly just like deformed. There's some like scratches on it and stuff. Um, I was mainly paying attention to the doll, but she does come with a second outfit possibly. So I don't know. One thing that I did think is interesting is so I have been watching Northwood Law, Guilty Pleasure. Um <laughs> and I know you're supposed to wear orange, so I thought it was interesting that the art's clearly showing that she's wearing orange, but then the doll doesn't come with it. She also, I guess the blue top's here. I find that interesting, and I noticed that with some of the other art, like they're not wearing what the art is showing, or at least this one isn't, because then again, she's wearing this purple hat, and she's clearly got a pink one, so I don't, I don't, it is her, oh, she's got green eyes, but the little character's got blue, I don't know, I just feel like they didn't really pay attention to what they were doing, as 18 pieces, I'm mainly interested in the doll, but I think the accessories are fun, and I'll be taking a look at them, and switching her outfit if I think so but I did think it's weird that they don't do orange because I'm pretty sure most states at least have to have one form of orange I don't know I don't hunt I don't I don't know people who currently hunt either so I couldn't tell you if that's actually true um I believe where I live you have to um wear at least one piece of orange I did ask someone if nails counted and it does not you cannot paint your nails orange and count that <laughs> But I don't know. I just like their face. Okay. Like $30 for this. But she's so cute. I love their faces. The other one that I really want. So like if you don't want the hunting one. Because like it's hunting. Um, they have some really cute ones. Um, there's uh, the camper. Which this is one that I want. Because like she's wearing a really cute outfit. I think they all have two outfits. Um, but don't quote me on that. Um, they mainly focus on like the playsets because you get a lot of like accessories and stuff. I really like the camping one. This is going to be the next one that I get um, if I decide to get another one. But why wouldn't I? Cause, like look at her. <laughs> and then there's fishing one. I don't think they come with fish, which I think is weird. And then the farm one. Um, so she's like a farmer. So yeah. So here's them that you can get. And I think all of them 
all, all were not at my store. They had three, and I can't remember which one they didn't have. I assume it's the farmer, but I, I it's, it's one of these because she was there, and I was really tempted. Um, I do like these ones, though. I think they're really cute. Um, I also think it's weird that she doesn't have ducks if she's hunting, but I guess maybe that's too violent for people. Anyways, then also they have, like, the little, like photos with her character so like obviously I need the farmer because mine's best friends with the farmer also wearing accurate outfit like this is what she wears right there um but then these two are best friends so like obviously I need to get them as well um because like if it was just her and the one that I have that would have been perfect but obviously now I need all four um okay then oh I lied because there is something else that I didn't get. So I, today, so I got these for Easter from someone and they're Barbie pets. So there's four of them, but I got two. Um, I love pets. I don't know if you can see like her face. I definitely will be taking them out. They come with three candies. Um, and then I also got the blonde one. And then they, so we got the blonde Barbie, the curly haired Barbie, and then there is... Oh, she's got purple hair, purple ponytail Barbie, and a brunette Barbie. You can kind of see them on the back. So those are the other two that I need right here. Um, if I can ever find them, because, like, I did go back to see if there were more in it. There were not. <laughs> Clean dispenser before you dispense. I have never done that before. Um, <laughs> probably why I'm sick. Um, super fun. I don't know. I just really like them, and now they're definitely going on my shelves. And they're pink. One's dark pink, and one's light pink so cute okay so what did I get today I got some thrifted stuff so let's take a look in here so that one the big box $30 I don't know how much pies go for so don't ask um okay so I got some dolls in bags the first one that I got, I did already open just because I want to see it. I did check to make sure that they have their hands, so all three of them should have their hands. So all three of the dolls I'm going to show you were $1.99 each. So this one is Lady Diva. I did get her for her pants and her outfit. I don't have a lot of OMG outfits, so I'm definitely going to attempt to mix and match. This is... I don't remember her name. Fierce? Fierce's? Nope. I almost said ferocious. What's her name? I don't remember her name. She's from the pack, though. The four pack. Um, I have this, this doll, though. And I do have Lady Diva, but I love Lady Diva so much. And look at it. $1.99. So, there were some others, but I left them behind. Then I got the other two are nude. Again, $1.99. So, two bucks for this one and I don't have the next two that I'm going to show you so they are new which is a little disappointing um this one's got a few bite marks but please ignore that <sighs> ew um this is oh sorry for the doll nudity as well Ugh, I don't remember her name I'm sorry sway sway is swags maybe haircut too I don't know <laughs> I don't have this doll, and I have been really wanting her just because I think she's really pretty. Some of her hair is slightly untangling. Um, oh, but she's so pretty. She does have her ring, though. That's interesting. Okay. Look at her. Sorry. Gorgeous. I don't have her. I've been wanting her. I will have to find clothing for her. And then lastly, Miss Skates. Maybe. I don't remember her name. Um, I think her pants go to one of the dolls that I really want, but I could be wrong. And, oh, she's so pretty. Her hair is still got, um, stuff in it, but again, has all of her accessories. So she is wearing two dolls' shoes, two different dolls. So, I don't, is her name Miss Gates? I don't remember. It's something like that. Um, again, nudity, but has both her hands, and I will be giving her something, uh, to wear. And again, some shoes. <sighs> She's so pretty. I don't know. I just, I don't have those dolls, so obviously I needed them. And then for $7, I bought 
a pack of some, what are these called? Barbie McDonald's toys, and I think there's seven of them, so I paid a dollar each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I only have one of these dolls, and they're in their packaging, which obviously I'm gonna take it out, but not the point. Okay. So this one is Sleeping Beauty Barbie. I will open them in a different video um, and go into like actual more detail, but this is Sleeping Beauty Barbie. Sorry, I'm trying to find the one that I have. Her. Oh, did she come in a stand? No, she doesn't. Oh, yes, she does. Okay, this is the OG one. I do have her, um, but look at her. You can kind of see her through. This is a 1959 number one Barbie figure with the base. Cool. And then Gymnast Barbara. I actually have been tempted to buy this doll before because she's really pretty. She got short hair too. Wow. Um, this one is the one that I saw and I was like, I absolutely need her because I have been wanting this actual doll for the longest time. This is the Solo in the Spotlight Barbie. I can't remember her name. Um, so fun. And then we have Soccer Barbara. Soccer Barbara. Gorgeous. Who are you? I assume it's totally hair. It is totally hair Barbie. They got little bases. That's super fun. Most of my dolls do not. And then Chic Barbie. Can you see that? Okay. So stay tuned for when I open that, all of those up, because it'll be soon. It'll not be counted as a review, because I post those every Monday. I'll post it random day. Anyways, the last thing that I got, and I actually was like, what should I get? Which one am I going to get? Um, and then I was like, I saw this one and I was like, no, I'm 100% going to get this one. So this is the booth that I absolutely love. I didn't say, but where I got the OMG dolls, the figures, is a like antique mall that's near where I live. I um, absolutely love it. I get a lot of my stuff there. Um, so there's a doll booth there that I love. And... They always, like, restock dolls and stuff in it, so every time I go, I try to look to see if there's any new ones, and this was one of the ones that were there that was restocked, and I saw it, and then I saw some Dolls of the World, um, Dolls of the World dolls, I don't know how to phrase that, but, um, and I was trying to decide between them, and then I looked at this, and I was like, no, I'm 100% going to get this, so this doll was $22, it is the winter fantasy barbie it's always fun because like a lot of times i'm like i've never seen this doll before in my life and that was what i had for this doll i've never seen her before it's possible that like i've come across like looking at photos but like ugh, she's gorgeous um and it's like a dress but like it's like winter doll which if you don't know i love like cozy like just dolls that look very like cozy i like winter dolls um so i'm super excited for this one I don't know, I just looked at her and I was like, she's stunning, which is so cool because like I saw the Doll of the World dolls and I'm like actively really want a lot of them and so the fact that I chose her is insane because those dolls, dolls of the world, there was a doll there that I saw, it's actually a new one and I need to look it up, <sighs> I'll probably link it below because like I don't want you guys questioning it but I have no clue what it was called, um, really pretty, it was $51, I was like, Oh my god. Um, anyways. <laughs> so if you want to know what that is, look in the... It'll be linked in the description. <laughs> um, but anyways. <laughs> I'm Mike Pub. I know it's kind of a quick video, kind of everywhere. Um, but I got a lot of fun stuff today that I really liked. Um, and if you want to see me do a review or an unboxing of any of these, just comment below and I'll move it to the front of the line because all these dolls plus a few more are ahead of that doll um the dolls that I just showed in the video excluding the McDonald's ones because they'll be next anyways 
I'm Akshma. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts on any of the dolls, if you have any, if you like any, if you have any of the Bass Pro Shop dolls, if you think they're good quality <laughs> because I'm so curious about them. I don't know, I'm just so interested in weird dolls, especially like when a company like that decides to make dolls, like them try to get in the market. I want to know if they're good. Anyways, Akshma, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye!